Sup, so, sup, so, Amelia? Being Rosies? Definitely some sort of energetic shift. Not pleased with it. Oh, that's the Ten of Cups. Not pleased with this turn of events, with the shift of the energies. I'm just, I'm just not with it. I'm just not for it. I'm just not, no. Nah. Alright, so we're going to see what's good and what's going on underneath this. You know, we're highly favored for protecting me in the form shall prosper. We give all the way to the big guy upstairs. And with that being said, we're just going to keep it short and simple. This two of wands keeps wanting to hop out. But you know what? We're going to see what's going on. I don't know what that card was. All right, there's something we're unaware of. Maybe we are aware of it, but we're just kind of ignoring it, okay? Because you already know the high priestess knows things that everybody else don't know. You feel me? But she keeps it on the hush. She has all the information or the downloads coming from the most side directly, too. So, whew, what's going on here? Okay, you want to be on the table? You can talk to us, okay? Talking. Mm -hmm. Two of Swords. So this is what we're unaware of. Clearly we're in our spiritual element. We're in our zone. We want to figure out what this is. So, you know, we're doing our best of our ability. Clearly. Okay, we've walked away from this situation. We've emotionally vacated the premises. We are no longer holding on back for... Or entangled in this situation. Very good. Faith without works is dead. Alright, let's go. Two Pentacles. Okay, so... Managing, you're coping, okay, everything is going. It looks like we're on two separate journeys, or there's two separate journeys here. Somebody, person, place, or thing, may want to come back around possibly to fight for this, to put the necessary practice and work into mastering this journey. All right, looks like they may be healing up, and as they're healing, they're resting, thinking about things, and wanting to move towards this high priestess energy i don't know if you noticed but i noticed that's ten swords right there you feel me there was an ultimate betrayal something very painful to made the situation come to a close because once you get to ten swords that's the land of no return baby you can't you can't do nothing with that we can't do anything with this okay so i see why you had to emotionally vacate the premises my dear but what we're on the way of is why this particular miscreant would like to come around in the first place right yeah i feel you i feel you chill 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 look i'm just the messenger okay Mm -hmm. Let's go. Proceeding. Proceeding. All right. So it looks like somebody wants to take accountability of the situation. Wanting to put in the blood, sweat, and tears in the situation. But they're still nervous and feeling a bit mentally imprisoned. All right. They're stuck in their own head. Okay. They're holding themselves back. Okay. Accountability, Mr. Masculine. Accountability. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. You know, we got some room over there. Boom. So they would like to come around now that they're in their emperor energy. We don't know if they're divine just yet. Okay, we don't know if they're divine just yet. Let's proceed, proceed. There's them ten swords I was telling you about, bro. I told you there was ten swords in the mix somewhere. You didn't want to believe me. All right, you did not want to believe me. But they were told you there was ten swords, and now there's a doubling down of the ten swords. This was horrible. This, this was atrocious. This was horrendous. How, how, how art thou? All right, I lost this there. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, maybe they're so unaware of how bad this ending actually was. But they want to come back around. They see it as a Ten of Cups. See, personally, Ten of Cups, that's that unconditional love. All right, so you, this is someone who loved you unconditionally, or you love unconditionally, but you put Ten Swords in the neck, back, and chest of this individual. Excuse me. Minding my business. Oh, maybe that's why they're nervous with the eight swords there. Oh, yeah, because you about to get ten swords too. Oh, just kidding. All right, so there's some things that are hidden. All right, there's definitely some things that are hidden at this time. Probably is them, I almost want to say, it's probably them groveling. All right, now they're watching from a distance. They're definitely watching, and they're deeply consumed in their emotions. All right, Seven of Cups is a bit of an illusion. They're not seeing things clearly. I don't know what that's about. They're going to have to figure that out. What? All right, okay, we'll figure it out for them. Apparently, Three of Swords, they hurt themselves by putting themselves in a third-party situation. Now, does a third party have to be like a person? No, but usually it is, okay? Probability. We're just being honest with each other. We're realists around here, you feel me? So they broke their own heart. 
basically. And now they're confused about how to fix it, apparently. All right, they want to heal this. Okay, Seven of Swords, maybe and they're creeping around. I don't know. We'll probably get to that Seven of Swords, too. But they recognize, look, their karmic side, that toxic energy, that ego got the best of them. And now the burden's all on you, buddy. Yeah, burden's all on you. Woo! Ouch. Mm. You need a coffee. Yes, you do. Ooh! Jeez, you can't win, buddy. You can't win everywhere I turn for you. You just pop, 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 pop. Like, jeez, bro. Like, oh, my goodness. Man, that's how I feel. Which way do I go, Doc? Which way do I go? I don't know what to do with you. Oh, my goodness. Jesus. That's why you're probably so spiritually inclined, collective. All right, you want to be on the table. It wants to be on the table. All right. Apparently we got some news for that, so let's get to talking. Oh, okay, so Monsieur King of Swords is now seeing things clearly. I want to say that he's cut out the things that don't serve him, but I don't know that. All right, but what I am saying is that he would like to take his time and slowly invest in cooperating. He wants to be on the same page. I don't know. Maybe he sees the potential for Ten Pentacles, generational wealth, success, some sort of legacy, something that's nice. All right, and he's manifesting. You know, the King of Swords is so muy magnifico, muy magnifico mental manifestor. All right, simple thought is here in fruition. You would think he was the Empress, but he's not. <laughs> Interesting, right? So yeah, he's that's what yeah so. All of this is his doing. All of this is his doing. He's got a pentacle to give. Oh my goodness, right? And still not excited? No? Okay. Yeah. Mm, all right. Okay, tough crowd, tough crowd, you know. You win some, you lose some, right? You feel me? It's experience. I'm just going to get about this energy. Let's just keep going. All right, what we got here? Message. What kind of message do we have coming our way? Come on. what Was that the message? He's manifesting you? He's the energy that we're feeling we're picking up on? Ew. All right. So somebody's in this King of Wands. All right. And um, they're also in distress. Um, we're all adults here. Right? I've seen our crowd. I think the lowest we got was like 18 to 21 in the age bracket. So they're, they're doing rather sexual things in order to manifest you. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, apparently they're in distress. I don't know if it's not working. Maybe it's worked before, but whatever they're doing ain't, ain't happening. Okay. Now, like I said, we're picking up on the residual energy, which means we're definitely feeling the energy. <coughs> Oh my goodness. And we're definitely feeling the effects of this. We're just doing a great job at, you know, recognizing it's not our energy. King of Wands on the table. I'm just so tired of these Wands energies for this particular reading. I'm just going to say that. I'm really sick of this energy, bro. How often do we get masculine energies on the board? And this is how you want to act? Like I said, we don't know if he's divine or not. <laughs> we definitely call that first from the rip. All right, so... We're figuring out if this energy is actually divine. All right. Let's go. Sexual magic. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Exactly. What I say? Uh-uh. Right? Exactly. Look at that. The moon. Right? All that sexual nonsense going on. Right? In the darkness. Right? And then who we got there? The devil. Mm, interesting. Right? It's it's all darkness. He's not a, he's not a divine masculine. This is a karmic masculine. All right? Um... He's mastered all his energies. He's done the necessary work, but he's still tapped into his shadow side. Ace of Swords. So unfortunately, you may have to leave this particular chap out in the cold because light and darkness don't work together. Or maybe he wanted to come forward with 10 pentacles to build. You know, he got five, you got five, yeah, I'll create 10. I don't know, but um, yeah, so apparently, wow. So yeah, so this is a karmic masculine. He has mastered all of his energies. He's done his necessary work, but he chooses to be on the dark side. Wow, that's bold. Wow, I don't know if I respect that or how to feel about that. Like, oh, you a G2. You just wanted to... Okay, all right. Feel me? Still gangster. We just different types of gangsters. You feel me? Like, oh. 
Whoo, that's interesting. Oh my goodness. I mean, universal law, right? Universal law of polarity. Same thing that's going on over here is going on over there, right? You feel me? I should have expected this, anticipated this. Oh my goodness. There's somebody who's equivalent to me on the other side. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm the sneak attack. I'm the no nigga. I'm going to get a nice coffee, even though it's freezing outside. I need, I need to, I need to, I need to process some things right now. I love you all on condition, great work. Um, light and darkness, we don't get along. If you decide to be with this energy, the the darkness will consume your light to the point where you can't have your light. If you decide to mingle, work with the darkness, you will either lose your gifts, lose your blessings, or lose your abundance until you separate from this particular energy. Um. Be very careful who you share your light with, who you share your blessings with, who you bless, who you pray for. Um, yes. All right. So we're going to leave this one here. I'm not going to say I'm freaked out, but I honestly didn't really want to get on the table today. I was just feeling down. And now I see why I didn't want to get into the table today, because like you learn new things every day, right? Every day. Jeez. Oh, MG. I can't believe people act, you know. Praise to the most high, praise to the most high, praise to the most high. You feel me? Stay up, stay prayed up. Florida water, sage, you feel me? They also have the bar soap, you feel me? So you can really get it in. All right, protect yourself, guys. All right, and be very careful who we um, intercede on behalf of. Careful with your prayers, your blessings, and all that, because wow. Wow, wow, wow. Love you.